Good morning, boys and girls. Um, I've got another psalm to share with you this morning, Psalm 95. And Psalm 95 is all about how we should worship God. We use that word a lot, don't we? Worship. What does it mean to worship God? Well, the psalm tells us that we worship God in three ways. And I've got three helpers to help us explain what those three ways are. So I'm going to ask Leah to come on first. And each of the three ways is to do with parts of our body. That's what the psalm says, Psalm 95. Leah, which part of the body Um, have you come to help with? Your mouth. Okay. So the first five verses of the psalm tell us that we worship God with our mouths because we sing, don't we? That's one way that we worship God. Leah, what object have you brought with you? This is my musical instrument called the flute. Okay. So you learn the flute, is that right? And this is just one instrument, isn't it? We, we play and worship the Lord with all kinds of instruments, the piano, the guitar, uh, the flute, many different instruments we can use to sing God's praises with our mouths. And the psalm says we should worship God in song because he's our creator. He's mighty. He's powerful. He's made all things. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains, the sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. So we sing to God with our mouths. That's the first way the psalm tells us that we can worship God. Thank you, Leah. Right, let's have our second helper, which is Josie. Josie, if you want to come and sit down. Now, which part of the body have you come to help us the knees so point at your knees i'm not sure we can see your knees on on uh, there we go there's your knee at the bible at the the psalm talks about our knees in verses six to seven it talks about us worshiping god and bowing down on our knees before the lord our maker now you've also brought two soft toys with you what are these soft toys sheep sheep yeah Josie told me they're sheep. They don't look too much like sheep, but supposedly they are. We've got a white and a black sheep. And the psalm speaks about us being like sheep. And what do sheep what do sheep do with a shepherd? They follow. And so the psalm says to us, we worship God not only with our mouths, but as we bow our knees. And that means that we follow God. You know, maybe the only person we would bow down to in the world around us would be if we met the queen for example if we went to the palace we'd bow down but the psalm says the one that we should truly bow down to is our god he is our maker our lord and we worship him as we submit to him and as we follow him and as we make him our master so it's not just what we do on a sunday it's not just what we do about when we sing at church it's about following okay got one final helper thank you josie one final part of the body to help us understand how we worship God. I think Johnny's coming over and he's got something else to show us too. So come and sit down, Johnny. Right, here he is. Uh, which part of the body have you come to help me talk about? Can you remember? The drink. Well, the drink is one thing. Is it your heart? Okay, where's your heart? Do you know where it is? It's in there somewhere. Um, So the final part of the body that the psalm talks about is our heart. We worship God with our mouths, with our knees. But in the last part, in verses 8 to 11, it talks about our hearts. God looks at our hearts. We're called to trust and obey, to love him above all other things. Now, why have Johnny got some water? Well, let me tell you, because the psalm ends with a sad story. It reminds us about a time... When the Israelites came out of Egypt following the Exodus with Moses and they saw many mighty miracles and wonderful things, God delivered them, brought them out of slavery. But then they started grumbling and moaning and complaining. They failed to trust God and they asked for all sorts of things. And God gave them water from a rock at Meribah. Uh, But they were miserable and they were complaining, uh, disobedient people. They doubted. And they came under judgment. The psalm reminds us that the Lord looks at our hearts in respect to our worship about what we love. So it's not just what we do on a Sunday at church. It's about the way that we live. And the truth is that we we often 
choose to worship other things, don't we? We love other things more than God. And that's what sin is, worshipping something else other than God. Jesus is the one who came, isn't he, who perfectly loved his Father in heaven, who died, that we might be forgiven and that we might worship the Lord with a, a new heart afresh. So the psalm is a psalm all about how we worship God with our mouths, with our knees, with our hearts. But it ends with a warning. It says we need to not only listen, we need to obey the Lord, that we worship him as we listen and as we walk in his ways. It's more than singing. It's about making him our Lord and master. Not just what we do at church, but what we do throughout the week. We're called to worship him as a way of life. So that's our psalm for the day. Let me pray and then we'll sing together. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for our boys and girls. I continue to pray that you'd help them as many of them work from home and miss friends and cannot go to the various clubs at church. Lord, we do pray you help them with that work and we pray you help them to understand more of you and the gospel and that you would help them to worship you in spirit and in truth. Help the grown-ups too. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. OK, thank you, Johnny. Well, let me just tell you what we're going to do um, at this at next part of our service. We're going to have a song. Our music group uh, are singing to us. Did you ever talk to God above? Because this, the, the, what we look at later in the, in the book of Acts is all about prayer. So our song's all about prayer today. Then we'll have another mission video, this time about Yemen, the country of Yemen. Manuel is going to be reading to us from Acts 4. We'll sing We Look to You and then I'll be preaching from that passage in Acts 4 together. But our music group will lead us in song now.